Hello, this is Dr. Brown, and I'm interviewing uh, some students who are here at the Broward campus who are taking classes with us, and uh, we're very excited to hear from them. Although they're not teacher educators, they did have some really good insights that I thought you would uh, appreciate um, with sharing with us. So, can you please introduce yourself? Uh, hi, uh, I'm Lan Xitao. I'm a student at FAU Environmental Education major. Okay. Yeah. Hi, my name is Albert Jimenez. I'm a computer science major from Broward College, studying computer science, computer programming, and analysis. So they have joined us here at Robotics Day, and I was talking to them as I was circulating through the room. And I thought, um, wanted to have their impressions and about Robotics Day and what did it mean to them. So they had some very good insights to share. So um, what, did, what do you think about um, our robots? I think like it's definitely a lot better than why was growing up. Uh, a lot of the things uh, are better designed. Uh, so I, I don't remember what's that. The little bits. Yeah, the little bits. So they are uh, connected by a magnet instead of wires, which that literally makes the things last way longer than I remember. The so one I have and the, the Lego ones was pretty like impressive because uh, it's. It just like kind of shows, helps students to understand the whole logic of each module or things do things uh, do different functions and stuff. So it, it's direct. I when, one of our conversations that we had it was about learning about circuitry in elementary school, and. Uh, what did you think about the comparison of the circuitry kits that you learned in the past versus using the little bits that you're using today? Well, the ones we had before, we mostly just hope it works. Like, it could be brand new, but it still might not work. <laughs> <laughs> I also think the really cool thing about the little bits is it teaches you about a circuitry, and actually you turn on a light, you actually turn on a fan, you can yeah. actually make a car go. So it literally shows you what's behind the scenes, right, of what your electronics look like and why, how do they work. And the, I, the other thing I kind of like about it is it actually looks like a circuit board. Yeah, I yeah. get our computer yeah, science yeah. guy here. Although, <laughs> that's for that. <laughs> so introduce yourself. Yeah, please, um, so I, my name is, again, Albert Jimenez. I'm a computer science major, and I... This is my first robotics event um, that I've ever been to. Um, I have been exposed more to hackathons um, and things like that, but it's very nice to come and see, uh, you know, that FAU is kind of showing robotics. And what I'm seeing this as, this is as what can coding create? You know, because all of these things that I'm witnessing right now, there's all coding being done in the in, in behind the scenes. And it's like, oh, okay, it gives me you know, just ideas start coming to my head is, oh, if I'm learning how to do all of these uh, coding things in school, I can actually start implementing all of this code in something that can benefit, you know, even even kids. Because I saw the Legos, we do it 2.0. Mm -hmm. And that blew my mind because I remember playing with Legos as a, as a young kid. And they were, those are tiny Legos. I was playing with huge Legos because I, I, I guess they thought I was blind. Um, <laughs> But none of them had motors. None of them were really interactive like that. Um, and I think you know, even those, even though these lists, we would we do it too. Um, point oh is a little more advanced. It might jumpstart a student, a very young student at that, to kind of uh, spark their curiosity on computer science in general. What one of the questions I did ask you before I brought you to the table, yeah. and you, you had very good insight on that as well. Uh, I would say, what if you had these types of programs? Mm -hmm. Would it would it have jump started your coding interest, and would it make it easier today now that you're at the university level yep. in doing coding? Yeah, yeah, I definitely I agree with with that 100 percent. That is something that I think um, my school, at least I took I I went to elementary, middle school, high school here in Broward County in Florida and that's something that they kind of lacked a little bit in but it's something that I wish they had because I would be in a very very different position now I would be much more ahead um, than, than where I currently am if I was just a little more exposed to you know the, the things that were out there that they were because I mean computer science is relatively new but 
it was out there while I was in elementary school. It's not like it didn't exist. Right. It was just uh, in the in the works, but there was still enough to kind of um, uh, expose us to a little more of that. But nowadays, it's just it's taken off to an exponential rate where it's like every school can adapt into their curriculum some sort of computer science or robotics Robotics, program Mm -hmm. yeah and i think it would have made it easier in your coursework if you had the basic understanding of what coding did and how it worked and how to think like a computer scientist i think and that's what these little educational programs are doing Mm -hmm. so it Mm -hmm. would have better prepared you for where you are right now yeah definitely yeah i heard that same from you though that Mm -hmm. you thought that it would better prepare you for your career choice yeah because uh i used to work in tech for three years and then i do feel like uh so some of the the little bits things uh we are even the connection we are not using it until like last year with our product and just that connection of like if we want testing with actual product like that's a really good design like and people probably not think of that if they've never seen that before because mostly when you when we are trying to test it people just thought about oh, i might just buy a wire instead of oh, i might buy those like um, magnet uh connection dots uh and also like this is something like i don't even know like those dots are actually um you know with a usb connection I did not know that until last year. I was like, why all the uh, things that work, they just directly connect and that connects to the power. And then my colleague is like, oh, that's uh, USB. I was like, that would make a lot of sense. Like, my brain is just like, wow. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, like, a lot of things, like, if, I, I think, like, if kids um, know about that when they're at a young age, it just becomes natural for them. So, which is really important for them to have that. Right, so it really doesn't matter what career field they're thinking about. It's helpful to know how to, the basics behind coding. Yeah, because you're going to be communicating with a computer Mm -hmm. or an AI or even artificial intelligence in the future. So if you understand how that piece of equipment works, it's it's easier to communicate with it. Yeah, Yeah, so it's a very valuable um, skill to have. Well, thank you so much for sharing your insights with us and about um, about Robotics Day and how it's impacted you and your, the way you're thinking about your career field and career future and how it could have helped you as you were in school. Yep. I just want to remind you very quickly that if you're online, that the session is being recorded. Um, your chat can be seen by anyone who's in the chat room. However, when we... Um, go to post this uh, afterwards, all those chat comments will not be part of the recorded version. Um, And if you are an FAU student, please send an email to Dr. Brown at V, as in Victoria, Brown, as in color, 22 at FAU.edu, so we can make sure that you get credit for attending this particular session on live um, for your classes. Um, And then, We'll I'll also send you an exit survey to learn more about how you're seeing and feeling about our live stream event. Thank you for being with us, and uh, we'll be back with you shortly.